Hello, friends! The Chinese are interesting people who never cease to amaze the whole world with their achievements in the sphere of high technology. And it turns out that the poor inhabitants of poor regions are also ingenious. In order to improve their own lives, they undertake such unexpected actions that will surprise people from different countries or sometimes even frighten a foreigner. In photos and when traveling to different provinces of China, you can see an amazing picture, the Chinese carrying huge, obviously inflated plastic bags. They resemble sausages in shape, but of huge sizes. Average parameters of such a carrier are 20 feet long and 4 feet wide. They are transported on bicycles, motorbikes, motor scooters, and on their own shoulders. A person from another country, seeing a Chinese person with such a huge carriage, should walk away as far as possible. The fact is that the Chinese transport natural gas in such a container. Why do they do it? A question immediately comes to the head of an ordinary person. It is extremely dangerous. Indeed, such transportation of gas is so dangerous that it borders on insanity. At the slightest hole in the container, an accidental rupture of the bag when moving or strong shaking, a leak could be possible, and here no one is safe from accidental fire and explosion. Even the sad consequences of such a risky transportation has happened. Despite the danger, the Chinese continue risking their lives. Extreme poverty makes them do such risky work. In provinces which are far from large cities, villagers continue to earn a living through hard physical labor. Many of them live not only without hot water and gas, but they still live with power outages. In order to somehow facilitate their existence, the Chinese bring gas to their homes in such carriages. Of course, such a dangerous business is not approved by the state, especially since all carriers are simply stealing gas from trunk networks. But knowing the plight, especially of the poor provinces, the government does not punish people for it, and the state treasury loses millions of dollars annually. Not all Chinese people cut gas pipelines on their own. There are special groups that make money by organizing illegal gas extraction using special equipment. An ordinary Chinese person can only drive up with a bag, connect a specially designated hose to it, and open the valve. Everything is pre-equipped for pumping out, so anyone can handle the job. They cannot pump gas into metal cylinders since it goes under low pressure in the pipes. Therefore, the people found a way out in the form of polyethylene containers. Such piracy is popular in villages close to gas pipelines and oil fields where gas is reserved for launching mining machines. Workers have warned local residents many times about the dangers of such activity, but there was no result. Such a plastic cylinder works on the farm for no more than a week. After that, you have to go for a new portion. Explosions happen not only on the road, but also at home, in case of inept connection of the stove to the bag or pressure drop in the gas pipeline if the insert is made directly into it. Often, women get burns, who are more involved in cooking on the gas. The tradition of gas bags has remained in China since the 1920s. Back then, buses with rubber sacks on their roofs ran along the streets of Beijing. They were filled with gas from stationary gas generators. In the developed regions of the country, all this is a thing of the past, but in the poorest provinces, it has transformed into dangerous and illegal activity. What looks to an outside observer as an amazing and exotic activity, for some Chinese people it is a question of the survival and comfortable existence of entire villages. That is all for today, friends. Write your opinion about this method of transportation in the comments. What do you think of all this? And also, subscribe to the channel if you have not done it yet. Bye!